So what is an electrophysiology laboratory or EP lab? The EP lab is an area typically in the cardiac catheterization laboratory area of your hospitals where the specialized equipment that we need to perform specialized procedures to treat cardiac rhythm disorders will be. In the EP lab, you're going to find ultrasound technology and also what we call the recording systems that will allow us to record the rhythm of the heart during procedures and the mapping system. And also traditional cardiac catheterization laboratory equipment such as the fluoroscopy system or the x-ray system. So what is each one of those components used in an electrophysiology laboratory? The mapping system is a technology that we use to be able to move catheters inside one's body, recording not only position, but also electrical activity, giving us a chance to build 3D reconstructions of the heart to move catheters without the need of x-ray and with much better accuracy. We have accuracy that is within a millimeter range and at the same time are able to record electrical activity, trying to understand where an arrhythmia is coming from, what is the trigger or what is maintaining a heart rhythm disorder. We also have an ultrasound machine, and for a lot of our procedures, we use what's called intracardiac echocardiography. That means that during the procedure, a special echocardiography or ultrasound machine that is in a catheter, a long plastic tube, typically a few millimeters thickness, is inserted through your groin, through the femoral vein, into the heart, giving us real-time visualization of cardiac structures. This makes the procedure a lot safer and more effective as well. We also have what we call the recording system, which means that every time we have an ablation procedure or an electrophysiology study, catheters are inserted through the vein into your heart to measure electroactivity, and the recording system gives us a chance to analyze that activity. Finally, we have the fluoroscopy machine, which is what delivers x-ray for us to see the catheters. Fortunately today, with the availability of the mapping systems and ultrasound intracardiac echo in our laboratories, we have been able to largely reduce or eliminate the use of fluoroscopy or x-ray for most ablation procedures.